my puzzle loving friends. Today I am going to review the Raven's Burger Stow and Go 1000 piece puzzle mat. I'm very excited to try this out. They do also have different sizes. They have one for a 1500 piece and 3000 piece puzzle as well. It is a 39 by 22 inch mat. It comes with a felt map, two securing straps, and an inflatable tube. I purchased mine at Walmart. Um, they do have them there, and I know they also have them at Target. Let's open it up to see the pieces inside. I really loved the stackable trays by the same company so I'm hoping to enjoy this product as well so here we have our inflatable tube Here we go, our inflatable tube has the name of the company, Raven's Burger, the valve to go ahead and inflate and deflate, and of course the warning regarding this product. We have the two securing straps, I can open it, there we go. Our securing straps they are fastened by velcro so easy to fasten and unfasten and we do have two of these as well and last we have our puzzle mat so I'm gonna open this Our puzzle mat, our puzzle, puzzle mat is felt, so it's gonna be easy to go ahead and keep a good hold of our puzzle pieces. Let's see the size of it. Let's put these to the side. And here we go. So if you see, it's an actually very big mat. So, um, it should, like it did mention, hold a thousand piece puzzle. So I wasn't expecting it to be any smaller than this. So the size to me is a great size. I like that it's felt. It's gonna go ahead and secure the puzzle pieces nicely. And to go ahead and get started, we are gonna go ahead and kind of just do a quick um, time lapse with this to see how it works and how it's gonna go ahead and secure those pieces for us. So we can go ahead and test out our puzzle mat. We are gonna go ahead and test it out with our puzzle that is shaped like a fish, 502 pieces. This puzzle is from Seco. And I do like, I am excited about this puzzle because it is in different shapes. Fish, dolphins, sharks, angelfish, shells, and hearts. So let's go ahead and get started. Working this puzzle with the mat was not as easy as I thought it was going to be. I was very excited to get started. While working, I've noticed the puzzle pieces aren't as smooth to move across the mat as it is while I'm working on my table. They would get kind of stuck. 
I wasn't able to move big pieces if I do one section. And that's one thing that I really didn't like about this. Um, I understand it is felt and you are going to go ahead and get that friction from the puzzle pieces on the mat. But I didn't really enjoy that. It was something I did not like. When I was rolling up the mat and I rolled it back out to go ahead and work on my puzzle again. The puzzle, some of them would move or they would kind of get unlatched. I know it's not a big deal, but it does take a few more like seconds, a minute or two to go ahead and fix your puzzle back up before you can start. I know this is a review just on the mat, but I just want to mention one thing about the puzzle itself that I'm working on. In the beginning, I was very excited, as I mentioned before, because they were going to be different um, puzzle pieces in the shapes of ocean animals, a dolphin. It wasn't it. So I wasn't really excited about the puzzle afterwards as well. But with the math, though, if you're going to go ahead and take a puzzle someplace, if you're going to go ahead and travel with the puzzle, I would say, okay, this is a good thing to use. But I wouldn't use it again. I didn't like, like I said, the traction. It rolled up nicely. It rolled out nicely. But your pieces weren't always secure. Sometimes you'd have to go in there and fix them. The securing straps did secure nicely. Velcro, of course, it's there's nothing really you can say bad about Velcro. Straps and straps. The um, tube inflated nicely didn't have any issues inflating either. So for this product, I would myself not use it because I really don't need to use this product. I have my puzzle table, but it's not a bad idea if you're gonna go ahead and travel with your puzzles. So you see here, it's very easy to go ahead and deflate after you're done using your inflatable tube, easy to deflate. You're going to go ahead and just push on that valve, push out the air, easy to deflate. No big thing about that. Of course, it does take a few moments because you have all that air in there. You want to make sure you get all the air out so it's going to be easy to put back in the box once you're done. Once you're done with this, you want to make sure it's going to be easy to go ahead and put everything back in the box. See, easy to fold, easy to go ahead and fit into the package. I would say Ravensburger does really good puzzles and their accessories so far have been good. I did look at other products as well regarding travel mats. They are all felt, so it doesn't really matter if the puzzle pieces stick or not because all the products of travel mats are the same material. So I would go ahead and say if you are going to go ahead and purchase one, I would invest in Ravensburger because their products are quality. This product was quality. The mat was thick. It wasn't very thin. Securing straps were nice. They fit perfectly. Again, for me, I wouldn't use this product because I don't need to. But if you're going to use it, I would go ahead and say get this product. It's good for those people who do travel with the puzzles. If you do like this video, please go ahead and press that like button. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe so you don't miss out on any puzzle fun. And to make sure you don't miss out on puzzle fun, hit that bell so you can go ahead and get notified when I do post new videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching and you all have a great day.